Godot 4.3 is already in public beta, so there are a lot of changes for us to get our heads around before the stable release comes out. In this video, we're going to look at one more of those changes, and it's all to do with parallax backgrounds and layers. The differences here for the parallax stuff are relatively minor. So in the past, we would have created a new node and it would have uh, we would have started with a parallax background node, which is actually more to do with our canvas layer than it is to do with our node 2D. But this is not what we do anymore. So we don't use our parallax background um, because we do not need it. Uh, the other thing that we would have added was this parallax layer. So you go parallax background and then a parallax layer and each parallax layer would need its own Sprite 2D. Well, we're just really getting rid of this parallax background. We go straight to the parallax 2D and each parallax 2D node needs a Sprite 2D node to go with it, right? So in terms of this particular setup here, we're gonna have a parallax 2D layer, scroll scale of one, that's fine. Let's set our repeat to 19. 20 and for the sprite let me drop something in there now um, actually I'll drop a few things in here so we've got a few going and we can see the differences so let's grab uh, this one here which is sort of a sky let's get that lined up how we want it something like that and we've got the um, in our parallax 2d we've set the repeat size at 1920 if I stop that um, we delete that and I scroll out here. You can see it ends there. But if we set this to 1920, that's where it, um, that's the point where we want it to sort of join and continue. All right, so Parallax 2D, we've got our scroll scale to one, we've got the Sprite 2D, and now let's just make a few of them, right? So here's another one. Let's set this one, the scroll scale to two. Um, and for the Sprite 2D, I'm gonna throw in this mountainous, who's he, what's it here? Actually, I wanna move these up just so I can keep things organized. Um, let's duplicate this one instead of two. Let's make it say four. And for the Sprite 2D, we'll grab this dark grass and then let's do it again. Duplicate instead of four, let's go to six. It'll probably look like we're sprinting. Um, and then our lighter grass, something like that. Let's save it and jump in and you'll see how all this works. Actually, before we do that, let's talk it through. So first layer, the very back layer, I've got a scroll scale of one. Then as we come forward, the mountains have a scroll scale of two, the uh, darker hills scroll scale of four, and the lighter hills a scroll scale of six. All of them have been duplicated at that 1920 because that was the width of the artwork. And before you start, I know this looks very childish in terms of the artwork, and that's because I have the artistic skill of a child. So leave me alone. Let's jump in and have a look, make sure this all works and you'll be able to see what we're talking about, how that works. All right, I'm up, oh no, I'm up there. Let's fix that. Uh, this camera doozy, what's it? Our camera, let's just grab our camera if we're at all lettuce. It probably won't let us, will it? Camera, camera. All right, let's get the camera lined up. Now let's get this thing back where we thought it should be. Okay, let's try again, just so it looks better. Okay, so there it is. Oh, we got a dodgy line up there. Um, look, this isn't about the graphics, let's move. Here we go, so you can see the different layers are moving at different speeds. We can go and tweak it now, right? Just to show you what I mean. So if we go into that one that's at six at the moment, change that to one, but let's change the one that's at one to like 0 0.5, just to show a little bit of difference there as well. Here we go. So now you see the one at the front is moving really slowly. The one at the very back is moving a little bit slower again, but the two in the middle at different speeds. So that's all there is to it with our Parallax 2D. Each one of those you control independently. Main things you're gonna play with is your scroll scale, things like your repeat, auto scroll, stuff like that. How many times it repeats, all of that. Simple, we are cutting out the Parallax uh, background node and the parallax layer node and just having a parallax 2D node. Too easy. So there you have it, another small change that will hopefully make a positive difference in your game development. Now, I will keep making these short videos uh, to do with the 4.3 release whenever I come across a change that I think is relevant to you guys. Um, otherwise, I'm also still working on all the other tutorials and I'll have a new one for both our ARPG and our FPS series coming out soon. Hopefully, uh, you've learned something. Thanks, guys.